below 20 degrees Celsius, above 60 degrees Celsius, or just 5 inches of standing water, all are dead zones for lithium batteries. Nobody wants to spend thousands on an EV that can lose its range by half, just because of the weather. But what if there were a battery that wasn't chained by temperature at all? It's time to talk about a new star. Tesla's upcoming 2026 aluminum ion batteries, charging faster, running safer, and shrugging off heat, cold, and flood like it's nothing. Here at Auto Gear Shift, we'll break down all the details the media hasn't told you about this technology. And if you don't want to miss a thing on Tesla's newest batteries, hit that subscribe button to become our 10,333rd member. We've got tons of insights already, and even bigger updates on the horizon. When lithium batteries freeze, how do aluminum batteries keep their range and charging ability even at minus 20 degrees Celsius? Batteries rely on chemical reactions to store and release energy, and those reactions are super sensitive to temperature. That's exactly why lithium batteries can turn into useless bricks in cold weather. Drivers up in northern U.S. states, where winter temps can drop below minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, often see their battery range plummet two to three times faster than usual. Even if you just leave your car parked overnight, the battery can still lose 15 to 20 percent by the next morning. This happens because lithium's liquid electrolyte starts to thicken below 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Lithium ions inside simply have to crawl slower. The battery has to work harder to deliver the amount of power your car normally uses. At that point, drivers are left with two options. Drive at 12 miles per hour or at normal speed but only have 50 to 60 percent of the usual range in 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Not exactly a fun winter commute. Now why is aluminum ion such a lifesaver? Its gel-like ionic liquid electrolyte has a freezing point below minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. While lithium batteries are basically hibernating, aluminum battery electrolytes stay liquid, letting ions move freely almost as fast as they do in warm weather. That means your range stays at around 95%. For anyone regularly driving in Minnesota, Wisconsin, or Alaska, here's why it truly matters. With lithium-ion batteries, a car that goes 280 miles in summer can lose nearly 120 miles in winter. Reports from Nissan Leaf, Chevrolet Bolt, and even Tesla Model 3 owners show this problem is real. It forces you to plan every trip meticulously. Plug in, calculate miles, consider your speed. Really exhausting. Aluminum ion cars, by contrast, serve you instead of demanding constantly. Losing less than 5% of range means a 300-mile battery still gets you 280 miles. For daily errands, grocery runs, picking up the grandkids, or hitting a retirement club meeting, this battery could easily last a week without a single charge. No need to wake up 30 minutes early in freezing temps just to top off the battery that already drained itself overnight. Even better, aluminum ion doesn't turn fast charging into a scam. Lithium batteries go 0 to 80% in about 30 minutes under normal conditions, but winter can drag that over an hour. Below minus 20 degrees Celsius, fast charging this pack is unsafe. Lithium plating forms as ions settle on the anode surface instead of intercalating properly, causing short circuits and damaged cells. Aluminum ions, by contrast, dissolve completely in the salt-based electrolyte, no plating, no problem. These batteries can handle 20C charging, or we can say five times the 4C maximum for lithium ion in cold. That means a full 100% charge in roughly 10 minutes, only about three minutes longer than in ideal conditions. So tell us, how cold does winter get where you live? And how many times do you have to charge your EV every day? If Tesla's new technology could break the cycle of endless charging routines that have trapped your time, drop in no freezing in the comments below. Never swelling like lithium. How is the graphene electrode designed so that aluminum batteries stay perfectly safe in 60 plus degrees Celsius heat? When a lithium battery pack balloons in size, that basically translates to, it's about to blow up so you better be ready to drop 13,000 to 20,000 bucks to get the new one. 
that alert can come out of nowhere. This is especially nerve-wracking if you're driving across deserts regularly or just dealing with the blazing summer heat. Let's see why aluminum ion tech is so ahead here. First is the materials that can take insane heat. Aluminum anode melts only at 1,220 degrees Fahrenheit and is chemically inert. It won't oxidize or break down below 480 degrees Fahrenheit. The graphene cathode will stay solid and keeps its structure between 572 to 932 degrees Fahrenheit. The ionic liquid electrolyte won't evaporate, decompose, or release flammable gases if the temperature does not exceed 300 degrees Celsius. Put together, an aluminum battery makes a lithium cell look like a kid's toy. For lithium, things get messy above roughly 248 to 284 degrees Fahrenheit. The liquid carbonate electrolyte starts to vaporize, producing the flammable gas, CO2, inside the cells, causing the pack to swell. Then the polymer separator melts, lithium ions go rogue, and it's basically a recipe for sparks. The differences in materials limits tells us everything. High heat is not a threat to aluminum batteries like it is for lithium. But the fun part is, in aluminum batteries, less heat is generated in the first place thanks to the graphene cathode. Graphene is a thermal superhighway. Its thermal conductivity is about 1,000 times higher than cobalt or nickel cathodes in lithium cells. That means any heat produced spreads out instantly. So you don't get those dangerous hot spots that lithium packs love to create. Tesla takes it further with a proprietary honeycomb graphene design. The evenly spaced hexagonal holes optimize airflow and heat dispersion inside the battery. This design can drop surface electrode temperature by 20% compared to flat traditional electrodes. In the same conditions where a lithium ion pack heats up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, an aluminum pack barely hits 122 to 124 degrees Fahrenheit. In this way, Tesla eliminates a cooling system for their battery pack, which means cutting £1,800.60 from the upcoming model. No energy wasted on fans or pumps, meaning you keep 96 to 98% of your range. On a 350-mile aluminum pack, you just lose less than 10 miles. But above all, safety is the most important thing Tesla wants to ensure for their customers, who drive electric cars every day. With aluminum packs, the risk of fire is zero. Even if you drive six to eight hours under Arizona or Nevada sun, with underbody temps hitting 194 degrees Fahrenheit, or during impacts creating friction heat up to 302 degrees Fahrenheit, the only reaction of the aluminum battery is to heat up to 55 degrees Celsius, then cool down itself. Waterproof Warriors – How Aluminum Batteries Survive Year-round rain in your area. If you live somewhere in Washington, Oregon, or Louisiana, where it rains over 50 inches per year and all streets can get 5 to 7 inches deep after a long downpour, can a lithium EV run every single day for years? Most lithium packs shell today use thin aluminum or stamped steel coated with a polymer or epoxy layer rated IP67. They survive being submerged a meter underwater for 30 minutes. But constant exposure to mildly acidic rain or salty water. In two to three years, the metal starts corroding. The polymer swells, cracks, or pits. Water getting in is just a matter of time. Once it sneaks in, the cells can short out and your car might just quit on you mid-drive. But more dangerous, few people talk about the possibility of an explosion. Fire does not always happen immediately when the battery is flooded, but can happen at any time later when you are not careful. With aluminum batteries, Tesla uses aerospace-grade aluminum, alloyed with 10% titanium that can resist chemical oxidation even at highest pH levels of 12 to 14 while rain is typically pH 4 to 6 and coastal floodwaters are 8 to 9. That alloy is then coated with a HydroShield Tech layer, a polymer graphene hybrid sprayed at 10,000 degrees Celsius, creating an ultra-thin waterproof nanomesh that can even self-heals scratches up to 1 millimeter in just 5 minutes. Inside, 
The cells are fully sealed with a 0.1 millimeter silicone wrap around each cell and the entire battery pack, blocking moisture entirely. This seal, as a final protective layer, is not affected by acid rain and sea salt with the pH level up to 6. For you as the driver, there are no worries about heavy rain shutting your car down. No more checking the battery after every storm. No moving the car to a garage to protect it. Aluminum batteries last at least 20 years, even in flood-prone areas that see 150 rainy days a year. At the end of the day, you can save at least $5,000 on maintenance and battery replacement compared to lithium, which generally lasts only five to seven years. With aluminum ion tech, extreme cold, blazing heat, or heavy rain won't slow you down. That's how Tesla will put an end to America's biggest EV worry. Stay electric and enjoy the ride. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next videos.